Emergency workers in Boston say they're prepared for a busy night and day tomorrow as people start to feel the effects of this brutal cold. WBZ's Christina Hager rode along with Boston EMS today to see what their day is like. Christina? Yeah, Paula, first of all, I want to say we are fortunate tonight. We are inside a Boston EMS garage, and crews here tell me it takes only five minutes in these temperatures for exposed skin to develop the first signs of frostbite. A day in the life of Boston EMS in extreme temperatures. Watching out for those that are the least protected amongst us. Those without shelter, like in the area known as Mass and Cass, where a small tent city is still intact on Atkinson Street. Those people are out on the street a lot, but and they generally are underclothed in terms of the weather. So the minute you stop moving, you stop generating any internal heat, and it goes away. C3, we can check out that common Gloucester. Superintendent Len Chubitowski took us out for a ride. A call to check on a man wrapped in a sleeping bag under a tree in the public garden. He refused offers to go to a shelter. Legally, they can't force him. Then there are those calls that come in any day that take on a different kind of urgency in these temperatures. If you trip and fall and you can't move, what would have been minor just four days ago is now no longer minor. Like a vehicle accident. The priority here on Charles Street was to get the woman whose car rolled sideways into a warm ambulance as quickly as possible, even though she was not hurt. It gets everybody inside quickly and out of this environment, because the environment, is, as you all can experience today, it's being out there for five minutes, it's pretty miserable. So how do you know when you're really in trouble? The superintendent explained this to us, that our bodies respond to extreme cold by sending heat to our core, and that takes circulation away from extremities. So when you feel that tingling in your fingers and your toes, that's when you know it's starting. That can lead to burning, and then when the burning stops, that's when you're in trouble. Get inside. Live in Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News. All right, Christina, thank you.